Well, welcome to Morning Devotions today from the basement dining hall of the Dan Panorama. And normally I like to give you beautiful scenes outside of Jerusalem, but Sister Bev told me to take a coat. And I said, it's going to be warm. You know what? It was 41 centigrade coming up out of the Galilee the other day. And it's 12 degrees with a strong wind outside right now, as you noticed from devotions yesterday. And I thought, well, maybe tomorrow morning it will get better, but it did not. <laughs> All right. So I thought this would be an appropriate place because I spend a lot of time down here with all of you. And to be honest, it's one of my great memory places in Israel, singing together, worshiping together, listening to your joyous laughter as you eat together. This is a place of good memories for Sister Bev and I. Now I want to teach today for just a few moments. Sister Bev and I will be home on Monday. Uh, we'll be actually home on election day. This was a quick in and out trip. Uh, we're going to hit Dubai and Abu Dhabi next to meet with the members over there with a the great banquet. Uh, but we'll be home on Monday. I want to begin to teach you today about where next generation leadership comes from. What is the fountain? Where, where do we look to see next generation leadership? Now you have to be careful in church that you don't start applying the corporate strategies that you see in your companies or you apply the military strategies or you apply the political strategies for succession. Because leadership in God's house is very different than those. And where you find the next generation leadership is also very different. You don't find the next generation of leadership out with the rebels. You don't find the next generation of leadership with those who are fiscalizing everything and judging and criticizing everything. You don't find the next generation of leadership in those areas. So where do you find it? Well, in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 17, we see that you don't find the next generation of leadership illustrated by Samuel, the first prophet, after the destruction of the priesthood under Eli. You didn't find that with the troublemakers and the cool dudes. 1 Samuel 2.17 said, So the sin of these men was very serious in the Lord's sight, for they treated the Lord's offerings with contempt. Now notice that they treated the Lord's offerings with contempt. Verse 14, The servant which took the fork into the pot and demand that whatever it brought up be given to Eli's sons. And all the Israelites who came to worship at Shiloh were treated in this way. Now these were the sons of Eli. These were the cool dudes. This looked like the next generation of leadership. These were the guys that were in charge and they were having sex with women, forgive me, actually in the tabernacle. They were actually in the presence of God having sex with women. They treated the offerings that people brought to God with contempt. They mistreated all of the people of Israel. And I want you to notice, you don't find Samuel hanging out with these boys. And you don't find Samuel hanging out with all the people who were around these boys that looked like the up and, and coming leaders. Not like that at all. Kind of like Titus in 2 Corinthians 8, verse 16. Paul said, you know, look at Titus. I don't have anybody else like him. God put in him the same care I have for the people. And you know what? There's a lot of things the people of God will forgive you for as a leader. But not caring is not one of those. As leaders, we all make a lot of mistakes. But leaders that don't care about the people, leaders that mistreat the people, those are not the people that the next generation leadership is going to be found among. So where did you find Samuel? Well, 1 Samuel 2.11. The boy served the Lord by assisting Eli the priest. 1 Samuel 3 verse 1. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel served the Lord by assisting Eli. So where do you find the next generation leadership? Not people who are in charge. You find the next generation leadership, people who are learning to assist. They're serving. They have servant's heart. And they're learning to say, whatever I can do to help. They're not acting like they know it all. They're not trying to lord it over anybody. The next generation of leadership is found assisting the current generation of leaders. Just what can I do to help? The other thing you find about the next generation of leadership is that they love the presence of God. First Samuel 2 verse 21. Meanwhile, Samuel grew up in the presence of the Lord. He didn't grow up in the presence of Eli's sons. He grew up in the presence of the Lord. In fact, one of the most beautiful verses in the Bible, 1 Samuel 3, verse 2 to 3. One night, Eli, who was almost blind by now, had gone to bed, and the lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle near the ark of God. 
Now that ark of God is where the Shekinah glory was. And here's Samuel spending every night of his life sleeping before the ark of God. And he was living, growing up in the presence of God. Now this is where you're gonna find next generation of leadership. Think with me to Joshua, Exodus chapter 33, verse 11. Moses would leave the tabernacle, but Joshua remained behind. Joshua stayed in the tabernacle before the Ark of the Covenant. Next generation of leadership can be seen by the fact that they have a servant's heart and they want to assist the current generation of leadership. Next generation of leadership can be seen because they love to be in the presence. You don't have to convince them to go to church. They're not people that say, oh, I don't like worship, you know, and they stand there with their hands in their pocket looking, you know, bored and, you know, playing with their cell phones during worship. No, no, they're people that love the presence. So when you start thinking about next generation leadership, connect group leaders, as you start looking for new leadership to grow the connect groups, as you start looking for a new assistant connect group leader, look for people who love the presence and who love to assist current leadership.